Um, my first name is Kelly Gurney. Oh, okay, cool. And what's the name of your program? It's the Center for Children and Families Kids First Program. Okay, what is your um, goal? Um, what we do is we provide a safe environment for children who are um, in a custody dispute for them to visit their non-custodial parents. Oh, okay. and y'all are um, looking for volunteers? Always looking for volunteers okay. to monitor our visitations and also work any kind of special events. Oh, okay. What do y'all volunteers do with special events? Do they mostly take up children? Or we mostly work? monitor the, the visitation between the child and their, their parents in a controlled environment. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do provide legacy hours for every visitation that uh, somebody volunteers, they get three visit, uh, legacy hours. Alright, what is the name of y'all's club? Um, Amphar. Alright, and what does that stand for? Um, it's just the name of a live action role playing game, the LARP, that we have some a lot of college students uh, play here. Where do y'all play it at? Um, we have a college club that meets on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock here uh, at the Student Center and we spar and fight outside and do arts and sciences. Like all the stuff that you see here on this table, except for the phone obviously, was all made by our members. Like this is all handmade. The chain mail, the leather belt, all this stuff are made from members. How do you make them? A lot of patience and a lot of, uh, a lot of trial and error. But we have we have people who do garb, we have people who do leatherworking, chain mail, macrame belts, all, and we also make all of our own uh, weapons, the walker weapons that we use, and just a little bit of everything. What's your name and what are you... <laughs> um, my name is David Lassiter, and um, right now I am the region, I'm, one, I'm basically the vice president of the club. Okay, who's the president? Um, the president of the college version of the club right now is actually him. That's. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Lance Wagner. And what some of the, what exactly do you do when you're playing? Yeah. We're doing the play. Um, we have a set. We have a, a rule book, and when we go out and fight, we have a set rule of combat rules, so no one actually gets hurt. But it uh, reenacts medieval combat, and a lot of us are wearing the armor, and the armor does count. You know, in terms of the combat system, we also have classes, um, kind of like a like a MMO. So, so we have like um, healer and warrior and assassin and stuff like that. And we just get a whole bunch of people together. We split them into two teams, and they. That's really fun. It is very much so. I've been doing it for since 2002, so about 12, 13 years now. When did the club start? Um, the night the Midland chapter started in 1997. The game itself started in 1983. And then the college club has been here for what? Since five 2000, years now? yeah, five years. We have about 50 to 70 people show up here on Saturdays every so often. We can reserve the student center, and we have everyone fight on the campus. We do night games occasionally around Halloween, where everyone's running around the campus at night, um, shanking each other. It's it's fun. <laughs> What's some of the events you do? Um, we do look. We do um, coronations for our officers. Um, so one of the big events that everyone goes to is called the Gathering of the Clans. That's in outside of Cloudcroft, New Mexico. That has anywhere from 500 to 1,000 people show up from groups all over the area. Um, the Midland is actually part of a kingdom which has groups from Hobbs, Portales, Lubbock, San Angelo, Abilene, um, Canyon, Texas, Odessa. Odessa. There's also a group in Odessa as well. They're trying to get a college club started at uh, UTBB as well. Get money so we can save it. People will sign up. So. Uh, nothing really. Just have to sign here, and that's pretty much it. So of Guatemala is that what you're asking me? Yes. All right. We have the uh, in Guatemala. You will see the Tikal, or uh, uh, the capital of the Mayan Empire. The other things you will find in there is a little island called Flora, which it has um, uh, Mayan rooms and stuff for scientists to go for to explore. Other things that you might find interesting will be the uh, ancient city of Guatemala City. Um, it was the city where the Spaniards built in the 1500s. It was the capital before now that we have a new one. <laughs> Other things that you might be interesting to find is that uh, the temperature there is between 50 and 60 all year around. It rains half of the year, so it's always green. You never have to freeze. So. <laughs> All right, what are y'all doing in the geology department? 
we're just going to talk about what we're going to do with field trips. And that's the only thing we can do. Field trips, talk about rocks, or we have speakers. Lots of speakers have come. What's some of the places you've gone on these trips? Uh, toward Alpine down south, Valmoray, we're 10 and 20 split. What do you do on the trip? Uh, use some of the pictures. Uh, fossil hunt, look at rocks, there's some dinosaur tracks. Oh, it's mostly you know, low level. There's no igneous rocks around here, so we can look at pretty rocks like here. So it's mostly fossils, limestone. And all the rocks uh, here, they all come from the trip? Most of these, well, not some of them, some of these. But uh, turd, no, that then. The minerals, no. No, not some of these. They're a little bit pretty. What's your name and what's your connection to the college? I'm Brian Bones and I'm a geology major with Sol Ross. And 